Hey, what's up everyone? This is Gamers The Reason, and this is going to be a tutorial. Now, I've noticed a lot of people that are using Sony Vegas have a lot of problems. The number one one is when people have rendering problems. Like, it just won't render at all, or it'll crash, or it'll get stuck at a certain percentage or something, or it just won't move at all when it's trying to render, and sometimes it'll just continue on forever, and people will have flickering problems buggy problems when it does render it'll be slow laggy won't play very smoothly or sometimes it'll just black out or have some sort of flickering problem so there's a lot of problems people have and this is a solution that fixes all of them and it's very useful for people that are working on huge projects such as making a machinima uh, a big video that's like multiple videos formed into one such as gameplay or a video game review so then you can show a little bit of clips of the game and just a lot of big projects so if you know anyone that's doing it or if you are yourself make sure to share with them so then they will be no notified for this informed on this now all you got to do is now make sure that you are done working on your project make sure that you've saved it and everything and done all your editing and everything so now all you got to do after you save it is click on file new and then hit OK. And what you got to do is just click on file again, import and then media. And then just look for the project file that you saved. And in my case, it's this one right here. Now what it's doing right now is pre rendering it. I'm not sure if it's a Sony Vegas problem, but when it renders like this, it always works it just simply works perfectly now keep in mind that once you're done making the official video make sure to delete a file that's like this intro and then it ends a dot bg they could be a couple hundred megabytes they could be a gig even sometimes a couple of gigs so make sure you delete those files once you're done because they will take up a lot of space over time now i'm going to go and skip ahead so then we don't have to wait for this finished rendering. Okay, guys. Now just click and drag the file down here. And keep in mind that this does include everything, even the stuff that well you don't want to have on there. So in my case, just click towards around the very end, and then just click S, and then just delete this. And now you, all you got to do is act like you're doing another video, and then just render it. That's all you got to do. So once you're done rendering it, it'll work perfectly fine. So, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed so that I can bring you the latest in gaming news, tech news, product reviews, as well as how-to tutorials and gameplay. So, thanks again for watching this. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, thanks again for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends so then they will be... In so thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And now we'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure you... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and share this with your friends so then they can be notified of this problem in case they've been having problems like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it or found it informative. And make sure to share this with your friends and subscribe so then I can continue to bring you the latest in gaming news, tech news, product reviews and unboxings, benchmarks, as well as how-to tutorials, gameplay, and more. So thanks again for watching this video. This is Gamers with Reason, and I will see you guys in the next video.